All right, so in the previous video, we finally added in that email link and that link to the Desert Plants webpage found on our second page. So we've now created a link between our two pages, and now we're going to expand our knowledge of links just a little bit more, and we're going to start including links to external sites, so something outside of our, our own created Plant World page, and then we'll do links within the text or within that same page as well. Well, so that's our goal by the end of today is that we can link in a couple other ways. So something to note is that when we want to link to an external web page, we need to use what's called the absolute link. So we can use a relative link when we're linking these two pages, this desert plants page and the plant world page, because these are two files that are con contained within the same folder. So it can be a relative link of just the last piece, which is the file name. However, when we're linking to an external page, we need to use the full URL in order to figure out where that URL is stored on the World Wide Web. So if you want to actually access something that's not inside the same folder, you need to use that absolute link. So what you're going to notice here is that we're going to add something into our plant world page. So here it says to find out more information about desert plants, visit the, so this is contained on our desert plants page. And it says to find out at the very, very bottom, more information about desert plants, visit the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum webpage. And you'll notice here we're going to add in a link tag before the word Arizona Sonora Desert Museum and after. And then what I want you to notice is that the hyperlink reference inside of that A tag, so that attribute, is not just the file name, but it is the entire address. We have http colon slash slash www.desertmuseum.org. Now it needs to be the entire thing or it will not work. So here, if we save our particular website and we then run it in Chrome, what we'll notice is that if we go down to this very, very bottom piece and we actually click on this link, it will take us outside of our web page to the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum page. So check your link, make sure you save it, make sure you run it, and make sure it actually works. Because if this link is not perfect, not the exact absolute link name, not the exact URL, it will not actually go to this page. So make sure that you can get that link to make sure that it does in fact link to that page and take you there when you click on it. So linking to external sites is pretty easy. You just need to have that absolute link. Now, links within a page are a little bit more challenging. So this is useful when we have a really long web page. So you've all been on those pages where you have to scroll, 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 scroll. Links within a page are really good for that because you can jump down the page very, very quickly to exactly the area that you want to be. And now something to note is this is where your notes are actually going to start up again. So you have targets. And it says a target is a named location or anchor within a web page to which a link can be created to go. So anchor tags actually have more than the purpose of just having a hyperlink reference. They can actually be used to create what are called targets. And a target is a named location within that web page. So what we're going to do is we're going to add targets in so that we can actually jump up and down within our web page. So something to note is that we're going to link in two different ways. We're going to link by creating an unordered list and linking down to the different types of desert plants. And we're also going to have a two top link that takes the user back to the top. So they could maybe click on another desert plant type. So they want to read about this one, then they go back to the top. They want to read it now about desert spoon, go back to the top, et cetera, et cetera. So those are the type of links we're going to add into our particular program. So first creating a link uses what's called the name attribute. So you'll notice here that I have that same anchor tag open and closed, but I have a name equals, and then I have the target name inside of that attribute. So if I want to create just a target, not necessarily any text on the page, but just a location that's identified as special as a target that I want to link to that location, I'm going to use an anchor tag with a name attribute. So something to note is that we don't use that href or hyperlink reference attribute here because we're not actually linking to a location. This is where we're actually creating a location to link to. The other piece I want you to note is that inside of those anchor tags, we actually don't have a target. 
we have, or we actually don't have text, excuse me. So here we don't have text because we don't actually want text to appear on the screen. We just, just want this location to be identified as something special. So note that there's no text in between those hyperlink reference anchor tags. We actually are just going to have anchor tag, anchor tag with no text in between. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to actually create some targets of our own. So if you go right to where the beginning of the Agave Americana website part starts, we're going to add in a target here. So you'll notice here, I'm just going to add in a very simple anchor tag and then close it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a target name. So notice here that I have no text in between because no text needs to appear on the screen for this to take place. All I'm going to do is name this special location to be Agave Americana. So all this has done is created a very, very special named place. That's it. Nothing will appear on the screen. This is now just an identified location within my website. Now from here, what I'm going to do is right above this, you'll see it says start unordered list here. I'm actually going to create this list right now so that I can link from it. So I want you to type in this code very, very quickly. So you have your unordered list. You have a list item of agave Americana. And then I'm going to, that's a list tag. Copy and paste that very quickly. Change that one to be desert spoon. Change that one to be golden barrel. And change this last one to be the prickly pear. So now I've created my unordered list and I can check that this does in fact work by saving and running it in Chrome. So I can see that I now have that unordered list added into my code. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a link out of this first Agave Americana tag. So what's going to happen is this is going to link us to this location and make the Agave Americana code appear right at the top of our web page, what we're currently viewing in the browser. So in order to create a hyperlink reference to a target name, we actually use something special to indicate that we're linking to a target. So it says, we create a link to a target just like we create every other link. We use the hyperlink reference attribute. So we're going to surround Agave Americana with those same link tags, those anchor tags, and we're going to use a hyperlink reference here as well. Now the difference when we're linking to a target is we reference the target's name and we let our browser know that we're linking to a target by using that hashtag symbol. So if I'm linking to a target, I need to have a hashtag there because what that tells the browser is that this isn't an external page or another web page within here or an email. It is actually a target within this same page. So here we're going to link to Agave Americana. And this is saying, with the hashtag in front of it, look for the target Agave Americana within this same page. So now if I save and run in Chrome, I can see this has a link. And if I click, it brings the Agave Americana portion or right where my target was to the very, very top of the page. So I can see that actually taking place. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to repeat this same process with Desert Spoon, Golden Barrel, and prickly pear. So I want you to link these three pieces in the list item and link them accordingly. So you're going to have to create a target for desert spoon, create a target for golden barrel, create a target for prickly pear, and then link to those actual targets. So that's what your goal is here. And what it should do at the very, very end is it should look something like the following. So if I open up this desert plants here, this is one I already, oh, I guess I do not have it done. So I'll show you in that next video what that should look like, but you want a link, they should all work just like the one that we just had where Agave Americana links down to that location. Desert Spoon will link down to this location, et cetera, et cetera.